Now, I know the broad layout of the room and also that I usually leave my keys in my bag on the coffee table. It's not there, so I need to expand my search. Now, Bayes' theorem suggests that there are plenty of places where I don't need to look, like the fireplace, the piano stool, or the light fitting. They're all very unlikely. I can discount them and hone in on more likely places like the couch. Aha. Uh -huh. However, my keys are not there. This changes the search. Now, knowing me and knowing Bayes' theorem, the next likely place that the keys might be are in something that I've been wearing quite recently. I wasn't expecting to see someone in the room. This is new information. Maybe, in fact, I left the keys in the door and an intruder has broken in. Let's apply Bayes' theorem and examine the probabilities. I reckon in the past 10 years, I've only ever left the keys in the door six times. Let's say that six times in 10 years, or about one in 600. Now, annual burglaries in my suburb run at about 300 in 100,000, or one in 333. So the chance of those very unlikely things both happening at the same time is very remote. Add to that, the room is dark, so visual information may be unreliable. Alternatively, it's a hat stand with a coat on it. Working with new information can either help solve a problem or hinder the investigation. It's a bit like detective work, and that's Bayes' theorem. <laughs>